Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're going to react to 10 moments filmed right before disaster. Like how, I mean, these kind of things, it's so unlikely to happen unless you've got like a security camera that's just capturing, you know, moments to try and find uh, like thieves breaking in and stuff like that. You know, like to be filming an area just before like an earthquake happens or before a tornado happens, like, you know, with your smartphone, it's gotta be like so unlikely. So yeah, this footage is gonna be just incredible. From a freak flood at a dam in Colombia that sent workers running for their lives, Jeez. and a trucker in the Amazon rainforest who thought he could cross this rickety oh bridge, to a violent tornado in Meridian, Mississippi, that tore the roof off the neighbor's house, and a group of Russian teenagers who learned why you shouldn't throw bricks oh at buildings. Here are 10 moments filmed seconds before disaster. Mate, that last one with the house, that looked insane. I'm guessing it just falls on him. The port of Barcelona is one of the busiest passenger ports in Europe. The city itself is a transport hub across the continent. The international airport is right around the corner, and high-speed rails can take you through France and the rest of Europe. On Halloween of 2018, an Italian ferry loaded with cars and passengers tried to dock near the port. A storm picked up on the water, causing the ferry to veer off course. Unfortunately, it oh veered no. straight into a loading crane. Oh my god, the front of that boat is so crunch. You better run. Oh my god, it's coming down. It's coming down. Oh my god. This this has gotta be expensive. A small fire starts where the crane lands. Soon a thick cloud of black smoke rises into the air. It only takes 30 seconds for the fire to get worse. Meanwhile, the ferry slowly backs away, as if oh saying, nothing to see here. <laughs> the crane it knocked over was carrying six containers full of highly flammable cargo. Oh it took the no. local fire department several hours to extinguish the blaze. Thankfully, nobody got hurt in the crash, and the fire caused minimal damage. Really? Minimal damage? I would have thought it'd be like a million at least, because that stuff is really expensive. Amazonas kind of is the largest state in Brazil. As you can guess, it was named after the Amazon River and rainforest. Most of the state is a tropical jungle with a few wow, look at this. Floating houses. Crazy. small cities and towns scattered throughout. Driving around Amazonas isn't very easy. Most travel is done by boat or plane, but some truck drivers must brave the dangerous journey. They have to cross plenty of rickety bridges along the way, like this one somewhere in the middle of the jungle. Na marra, né? Na, devagarinho, né? Devagarinho. Mais puxando pra, pra esquerda aqui, né? Pra esquerda, marra, né? Vai tranquilo, né? Vai. Falou, Júnior. Obrigado, hein, cara. Valeu. Show de bola aí, mano. Bora. Mano. So it's looking good so far. Lindo. So far, so good. Oh, snap! Puta que pariu! Man, good luck getting that thing out of there. You need a crane. Now what do you do? It's not like you can get a tow truck out there anytime soon. Right. Our poor driver probably had to harness his inner Spider-Man to climb out of the truck. Look at how high that cab is off the ground. Now we're not sure what these guys were talking about before the bridge collapsed. If we had to guess, it was probably something like, this is a bad idea. We can't imagine they had many other options. Standard advice would tell you to find another way around. But when there's only one bridge, you might have to risk it for the biscuit. That bridge did not look strong enough to be honest, but they didn't really have a choice, did they? Now, if you're into 19th century American history, Meridian, Mississippi is the place to be. It's the seventh largest city in the state and home to about 35,000 people. It was so crucial to the South during the Civil War that General Sherman burned most of it to the ground. But Meridian got back on its feet and became a modern hub for travel and industry in Mississippi. 
Then, on April 14th of 2018, a powerful EF2 tornado tore through Meridian like General Sherman did back in the day. It uprooted trees, ripped apart power lines, and tore the roof off this poor person's house. The ripped power lines are the worst. You can touch that the storm touched down around 11 a.m. with winds blowing at 115 miles per hour. The tornado tracked an 8.5-mile path of destruction through Meridian. It also caused a million dollars worth of damage to homes and infrastructure. 911 Whoa. calls were coming in fast. Look at how that roof just got ripped off. Hold on a minute. Keep your eye in this area. Here. Damage to homes and infrastructure. Look at the roof. 911 calls were coming in faster wow. than the city could handle. Once the storm passed, Public Safety Director Doug Steffens asked those without damage to check on their neighbors. Hopefully, our cameraman hustled next door to make sure his neighbors were okay. That roof got just peeled off like it was made of plastic. On February 16th of 2019, a Lion airplane took off from the airport in Jakarta, Indonesia, en route to the island of Borneo. What was supposed to be an up-and-down 90-minute flight quickly turned into a harrowing experience when the plane flew through a heavy rainstorm. Uh -oh. The plane tried landing at Supadio International Airport, a regional hub servicing international flights. One passenger decided to film the landing as the plane braved the violent storm. If you're on this plane and, like, this is happening, you're probably panicking, aren't you? And for good reason. Uh. Ooh, oh my god. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. While it looks like the plane landed safely, this was only seconds before it oh. skidded off the runway. There were 182 passengers on board the plane when it veered into the muddy grass. Thankfully, nobody got hurt and everyone made it off safely. According to Reuters, Lion Air is the market leader in Indonesia. They had 11 safety incidents between 2000... Wow, that guy was like, I think, I guess, thanking God for, you know, sparing his life. The market leader in Indonesia. They had 11 wow. safety incidents between 2002 and 2019. In fact, they crashed a Boeing 737 MAX in October of 2018, oh, leading no. to the worst day in Lion Air history. Oh, a spokesperson God. said visibility on the 16th had met landing requirements. Had it though? I mean, clearly not based on what we saw. Controlled demolitions aren't as easy as blowing something up or knocking something over. There's a ton of math involved to ensure buildings and towers fall in the intended direction. When they don't, they can cause some serious damage. On May 22nd of 2013, a German demo crew arrived to tear down an old smokestack. They hooked some steel cable around the top and tied the other end to a truck. You can tell where they cut part of the tower so it'd fall toward the parking lot. Unfortunately, the smokestack had other ideas. The anticipation, you know, when you're like waiting for something to happen. So you you think it's gonna fall that way, don't you? Not enough power in the, in the truck. Oh, it's going, it, it's going the wrong way. Oh! Coincidentally, the crushed car belonged to the crew. Do you reckon they'll be able to buff it out? Any damage? 
Bruce Foreman. Since he was in charge, you could say the entire accident was his fault. You can feel the awkwardness in the crowd as people move to inspect the damage. We imagine a few workers lost their jobs that day. But why? Hold on a minute. Who's... It was his responsibility. Our next demolition genius comes from Kamenka, Russia, a small town in the Penza Oblast. On March 14th of 2017, he and some buddies stumbled upon a dilapidated building and decided to have a little fun. They started throwing bricks at the weakened support column. Oh it didn't take God. a fortune teller to see their future. Mate, what are you doing? It's like a gigantic game of uh, Jenga. Like, you guys play Jenga with the, the little blocks? <laughs> oh man, this is so dumb. At least do it from far away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh mate, this is crazy. <laughs> oh my god. If you were wondering what Russian teenagers do for fun, this is it. They have no idea how much danger they're in. Once the support tower came down, the entire roof collapsed. Let this video be a lesson to you. If you ever come across a rundown building like this, don't throw bricks at it. Mate. Don't get me wrong, the adrenaline rush he got probably was immense. But was it worth, you know, potentially like losing his life? You gotta say no. You gotta say no. The Ituango Dam is an ongoing project on the Cauca River, about 110 miles north of Medellin, Colombia. It was almost Medellin. done when disaster struck on Pablo April 28th Escobar. of 2018. A massive landslide blocked a tunnel meant to divert the river's flow during construction. Since they were almost done, they'd already sealed two other tunnels meant for diverting water. This caused water levels to rise rapidly, triggering more landslides. The company in charge decided to flood the engine room on May 10th to relieve some of the pressure. Then, two days later, one of the tunnels gave way, leading to massive downstream floods. Man, that guy literally came this close to being swept away. <laughs> Floodwaters raced toward the downstream villages. Puerto Valdiva lost 59 homes, a school, and a healthcare center. Oh, the floods no. also displaced about 600 people. Things oh. only got worse for the Ituango Dam project. Experts claim that there are renewed landslide risks from nearby mountains that could block the water intake tunnels. If those mountains gave way, it could compromise the entire project. Damn. Colombia wasn't taking any chances. Because of these risks, 24,000 people downstream from the dam were evacuated from their homes. You could call the Ituango project Colombia's cursed dam. Jeez, man. I wonder how much that costs to replace all those homes. Riyadh, also known as the Gardens, is the capital and largest city in Saudi Arabia. About 5 million tourists flock to Riyadh every year, making it the 49th most visited place on Earth. Meanwhile... Wow, that is a super cool building. Like, is, is that not like such a really cool like design? 7.6 million call the city their home. One of those locals, an engineer named Abdullah Abu Habla, might be the luckiest guy in the city. He was walking down some parking garage steps when everything collapsed around him. In the video, you see Abdullah walking on the roof of the parking garage. Right as he turns into the stairwell, he said he felt a strong burst or air pressure. His engineering background told him something bad was about to happen, so he retreated up the stairs. Whoa. Sure enough, the entire structure Whoa. collapsed around him. We end with this funny moment showing Abdullah oh standing God. with nowhere to go. Now, while he was okay, the collapsing garage caused severe damage to the cars, including his. So far, there are no reports about what caused the collapse. It remains a mystery to this day. I hope it didn't take him too long to get his car replaced. 
you know, surely because it's the company that built the, uh, the garage or the company that owns the garage that's liable. Hearst, Texas. Is Hopefully they didn't try and take the mickey, do you know what I mean? It's a densely populated city between Dallas and Fort Worth. About 40,000 people live within 10 square miles, meaning the houses are close together. On April 7th of 2018, Hearst made national news when a car crashed into a suburban home. The driver, Arnulfo Castro, was arrested for driving without a license. When police arrived to detain him, their cameras captured a near catastrophe. The video ends there, but another officer's body camera captured the blast from a second angle. Gas line explodes. Oh my god. 222 Hurst, you copy that? We have explosion in the house. Officer Travis Heiser is the man you see walking toward the house in the dash cam clip. He thanked oh divine intervention for saving his god. life that day. A finger pushed me away from the house. Otherwise, I would have been up on the wall, he told reporters later on. Arnulfo severed the house's gas line when he crashed into the den. We're not sure how long his car was parked in the living room before it went boom. Officers heard screaming coming from inside the house oh after the explosion. God. One man stumbled outside while first responders rushed in to rescue two other people. Thankfully, oh nobody God. was seriously injured. The family started a GoFundMe page to pay for the damages. Jeez, man. That explosion was crazy. Like, I, I, wasn't, I was not expecting it at all. Caught me by surprise. The USS Carl Vinson is a US Navy Nimitz-class supercarrier. As of April 10th of 2023, it is docked in the Hawaiian Islands Operations Area for group sailing exercise. The carrier set sail in 1983 and was named after the late Georgia Senator Carl Vinson for his Navy contributions. In this old school footage, a seasoned pilot takes off in his Grumman A6 Intruder, an American all-weather attack plane. It seemed like a normal takeoff at first, but something went horribly wrong. Oh God, not enough, uh, what do they call it, thrust? Oh mate, he's going down. Oh, no, it looks all right. Looks fine. Oh, what happened? Oh! What the heck? Our pilot reached the end of the bow and immediately realized something Why? wasn't working. The plane wasn't responding to his inputs. No matter what he tried, she just wouldn't fly. Control started screaming in his earpiece, climb, 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 but there was nothing he could do. Climb, climb, climb became eject, eject, eject. And on the third eject, as the plane turned 90 degrees, our Just pilot thought, pulled I'm the handle, sending him I'm and his navigator here. flying into the ocean. He was willing to accept his fate right then and there, but both miraculously survived. Due to spinal compression, our pilot claims he was an inch shorter when they pulled him out of the water. Wow. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then Crazy. be sure to click the link on screen. Brilliant video. Really, really enjoyed it. For me, like every single entry, you know, completely justified in its inclusion. But if I had to pick my favorite clips, I would have to say either the, the one with the explosion where the car like and the word favorite actually i'm not sure it's appropriate but maybe the most uh jaw dropping ones like the car that crashed into the house which then cut the gas line and then uh, caused the explosion that was incredible also the russians that were throwing the bricks at the support uh beam and uh you know one second it's that the house is fairly normal next second and that guy like he he was inches away from that roof collapsing on his head just intense like so many great moments the bridge you know in the amazon amazonas when they're crossing that rickety bridge just absolutely brilliant what was your favorite clip from the video thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one